development has been moving at a rapid pace in Autodesk Fusion, continually adding new technology and features to streamline your workflows, increasing your productivity, making it the professional solution for your manufacturing needs. We thought it'd be a great time to do a quick look back at the last six releases in the manufacturing workspace to highlight just a few of these in case you may have missed them. Using the knowledge learned from testing in our own Autodesk technology centers and implementing industry proven technology for products such as PowerMill, FeatureCam, PartMaker, as well as partnering with companies like ModuleWorks has led to increased five axis capabilities to existing toolpaths and the addition of nine new ones. Inclined flat machining automates the programming of flat model regions. This new option automatically detects flat faces within a specified angular range and applies a flat finishing toolpath to each of those regions, using a multi-axis simultaneous motion to move between the flat areas, creating a single toolpath. The corner finishing strategy brings together some of the best corner finishing technology and combines it into a single rest finishing toolpath that will produce better results and allows for more automation on complex feature rich parts. Blend is a versatile finishing strategy for machining the shallower regions of a part between selected contours with constant cutting direction and supports three axis undercut machining with optical tools. A new way to define blend toolpaths is now available, producing toolpaths that avoid fragmentation on complex geometries, enabling them to be machined to a higher surface finish more easily. In a drive to improve four axis capabilities, rotary pocket has been added. This four axis roughing strategy lets you tackle more complex geometry allowing the efficient removal of material from cylindrical, conical, and freeform parts rotating around a fourth axis. The rotary contour strategy complements rotary pocket, as this four axis simultaneous strategy is designed to finish machine the sidewalls of features which radiate from the central axis of a part. Geodesic, which is unbelievably versatile, creates either a scallop or blend style toolpath. With the ability to be three, four, or five axis, this toolpath also has the added benefit of being able to machine undercut regions, removing the need for multiple toolpaths to machine complex part geometry. Additional offsets can be automatically added to the defined curves, allowing the toolpath to overlap and blend machined regions, increasing surface finish quality. The Advanced Swarf toolpath gives you more control and additional advantages. This new toolpath provides greater flexibility in inputting contour or surface geometry and can degouge the machining surface. Greater tool axis control is gained with the flexibility of auto-synchronizing between the top and bottom rails. The advanced swarf toolpath is not restricted to only 5-axis machining, allowing for toolpaths that are 3-axis, which is useful for vertical walls, 4-axis for wrapped cylindrical features, and 5-axis for complex geometries like undercuts. Automatic Deburr is an intelligent toolpath that uses 3, 4, or 5-axis machine motion to automatically remove the small burrs that are often left on the edges of parts after machining, reducing the work for non-value-add processes like manual deburring and resulting in improved part quality. Users have control over which edges need to be machined and which ones should be ignored. With additional controls for edge type, minimum edge angle, and tool orientation, as well as multiple clearance height control options to define the safe area that the cutting tool will withdraw to between cuts. We haven't forgotten about those of you who do turning. A new standalone groove roughing strategy for external, internal, and face grooving operations has been added. It incorporates all the elements that users loved in the old grooving toolpath, but with superior results by giving the user more toolpath control through simplified UI, improved boundary handling, and an improved set of tangential extensions. This gives you safer and more efficient lead in and lead outs, allowing for a better and more consistent toolpath. The option to define the entry point of the groove in relation to the center or the side of the groove minimizes tool deflection and control swarf. Machine simulation has been greatly enhanced with the addition of collision detection. The model, stock, tool assembly, machine tool, and fixturing are all checked against each other for collisions and if found are then highlighted on the screen and in the toolpath bar. This enhancement gives you greater confidence and increases the safety of your equipment during the machining process. It's not just about toolpaths. We're trying to improve your quality of life and how you use Fusion daily. Selecting and managing your toolpath geometry is important. A new tabular approach, which improves visualization and edits has been introduced. Combinations of selections, including chains, face contours, pockets, sketch profiles, and silhouettes can be used for increased flexibility. 
Additional updates after its initial release have made it even more robust. We recognize that performance is key to professionals like yourself, and we are in a never-ending cycle of making improvements. These often get overshadowed by all the other great technology, but just to name a few, open, export, import, browser scrolling, switching tabs, switching workplaces, measure, break links, and isolate commands have all seen performance increases. Additionally, Apple Silicon is now natively supported as well. These are just a few of our highlights from the last six releases. When is the last time you have seen a CAD CAM tool develop at this velocity? Just imagine what we're working on to deliver to you next. In the comments, let us know if we missed one of your favorites or what has impacted your workflows the most. To get a look at preview features and give feedback to our product managers and development teams, make sure to join our insider program linked in the description. We look forward to seeing how you use Fusion to make anything.